Simplest query, single word, just the word crazy. When I type the word crazy into the Google, into the Google search box, it says, find me all pages where the word crazy occurs regardless of its position, right? We're ignoring position altogether at the moment. And if you look at our, if you look at our index, you'll see that that appears in 1.html and 2.html. Okay, a little bit more sophisticated query, crazy space cat. If you'll remember, when you put spaces in your query, it means and. I want to find the word crazy and the word cat. But at this point still, I'm ignoring the position of those words on the page. Just any page that has both crazy and cat on it somewhere. And you see from looking at our index that only one page meets that criteria. We call that a search criteria. The criteria is has to have crazy and cat. Only one page meets that criteria and it's page one.html. Okay, next one down the line, crazy or cat meaning give me any page that has the word crazy on it or a page that has cat on it or perhaps it has both on them but it doesn't matter to me if it has both it just has to have one or the other on it and looking at our index we see that all three of our pages have either the word crazy or the word cat on them so all three of the pages will be returned as results so some vocabulary here not really important vocabulary but I want you to have heard it I issue a query that query has criteria the criteria are the things that the parts of the question that I'm asking. The Google search engine uh, reads that, that reads those criteria and finds web pages that match the criteria and returns them as results. Returns them as results means finds them and presents them to you. Okay? I issue a, a query. That query has criteria. Google looks at those criteria, finds pages that match that criteria, and then returns those pages as results.